Right now on Action News at 4, a potential serial killer is in custody in Philadelphia. 21-year-old Derek Jones is accused of targeting people after they get off of the SEPTA buses, and investigators say the burning question is why. I'm Shari Williams alongside Gray Hall. Sarah and Brian are off. The big story on Action News is what police call three random murders. And now authorities are trying to figure out if there are more victims out there. Action News reporter Aliana Gomez following the story now joining us live at police headquarters in Aliana. Jones was arrested during a raid in West Oak Lane. Yeah, Gray and Shari, SEPTA surveillance video is what helped investigators track him down to his family home yesterday. And they say during that raid, they also found 100 live rounds of ammunition. Detectives telling us today they feared had they not caught him yesterday, that he would have killed again. We have not established any connection between any of our three decedents and Mr. Jones. Philadelphia Police Captain Jason Smith detailed how Jones gunned down three young innocent men. All three victims were riding a SEPTA bus, and once they got off, investigators say Jones would get off at the next bus stop to get ahead of them before shooting them multiple times. The motive is unknown, but that is the burning question. Why? Why did Mr. Jones murder in cold blood three males? On June 28th, just before 10.30 p.m., Zamir Cyrus was shot and killed on North Broad Street a block away from his home. Then nine days later, 20-year-old Justin Robert Smith and his best friend, 21-year-old Taheem Tucker, were shot and killed on their way home from work, also a block away from their family homes. This is such a, a jarring loss for our family, for Taheem's family. You know, these two boys were literally walking up the street on their way home. They were not causing any trouble. Justin's older siblings tell me he and Taheem were neighbors. They grew up together and walked home from work together to be safe. There's no family that's prepared for a loss like this at all by any means. There's no family that's prepared to lose the youngest, you know, child. Um, on the block that we live on. As the family tries to make sense of it all, investigators are still trying to figure out why and if Jones is responsible for other murders in the Philadelphia region. Investigators also say that Jones has four prior arrests. Two of them were when he was a juvenile and he was actually on probation when these crimes were committed. They say they are also again seeing if he is connected to any other murders involving SEPTA transportation in and around the Philadelphia area. If anyone out there recognizes him or knows any information, they're urged to call Philadelphia police. We're live outside of police headquarters. Aliana Gomez, Channel 6 Action News. Back to you guys. Aliana, thanks for the update.